they think I've got reality and fiction all figured out Then bam There's this whole space in between This love exists only in my dreams. Please do not wake me up. John, this is definitely in your dreams. So please, don't wake up, baby. And I'm sure I do have a sleeping pill or two in my bag. That should help. <laughs> oh, Sean. But hey, I think this one's for real. Well, hello. Lovely. Your way to beautiful girl. That is why it'll never work. You have me suicidal, oh baby, suicidal. When you say it's over. No, mom. It's not just the ABC's back in space again. Yeah, it's I'm telling you, Mom, I checked the spaces right. That other student is parking space. This parking space is not backward. It's not backward. DA code. That's the DA coordinator's parking space. Is it nasty? Lord. Oh, yeah, you knew here. Yeah. Not he, she. They're not nasty like nasties. That is Mrs. Kimoto's parking space. And she'll smash your windows if she can't get any paint to splash on. Yeah, I know, Mom. But the parking space I located for students is like 10 miles away. Besides, some of these lecturers don't even need parking spaces. You might as well get bicycle wraps. Hey, Sean. What? Where is your manners? Can't you see? Horace Hilton is on the phone. Oh. Zip it, you old hag. Oh, please. Oh, sorry, sorry. Not you, ma'am. Some bubbler here is calling me Paris. Um, never mind. I'll move my car if they feel so strongly about their stupid parking space. <laughs> <laughs> I thought her name is Damaris. Why did you call her for Miss Hilton? Oh, don't sweat it, baby. It will come to you. Even time tea, it will. Tell it, darling. <laughs> My name is Dr. Kuto. Yeah, from Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Nothing, sir. Yo, my class. What? What's it? Now. Sit down. Don't you tell me to. Sit. My name is Dr. Kuto, and I'll be taking you through financial mathematics. And before we start, I'd like us to get some preliminaries out of the way. My name is Dr. Kuto, and so shall you address me. Not Daktari, not Mualim, not Sir, or any other fancy name you may feel inclined to call me. I possess an earned PhD, 
alongside an MSA in Financial Mathematics, an MBA. I'm also a Chartered Financial Analyst, a Certified Public Secretary, and a Certified Public Accountant. I have published 15 books, except the 13th. Who is the class representative? Okay. If there's one thing that really gets out of my skin, it's asking a dot a question, and instead of answering, they start mumbling and mumbling to themselves. Now, just so that we are clear from the start of the word go, when I ask a question, I will expect a clear and audible answer. And I don't care whether that answer is yes or no, or maybe, or even whatever, but I will expect it each and every time. Now, Try this one more time. Who is the class rep for this group? Whatever. <laughs> we don't have one. Okay. Why not just say so? I mean, it's okay if you don't have one. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Now, let's fix this. I want you to elect one. As if you are democratic. If not, just appoint one. Mike. 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 Come on, Mike. Mike. All right. Okay. Mike doesn't want to be the class rep. And neither do I want him to be one. It's nothing worse than an unwilling leader. I want to go with someone who is an encumbered with false modesty. And someone who is Freely willing, available, no complications, no inhibitions. I'll do it. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. What's your name? I am Rahab, sir. Rahab? Yes, sir. Of course. Why didn't I just read the Bible? <laughs> Excuse me? Never mind, actually. Your name is not important. I'll call you class rep. It's only one important name in this class, Dr. Kuto. I think this guy applied to be a prison warden and landed here by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Romeo, something you want to share with us or just Juliet? Excuse me, my dear, uh, Dr. Kuto. Yes. You're being harsh. Mm -hmm. Glad you noticed. You will quickly find I'm well able to be your worst nightmare. But if you play by my rules, it's every chance to be just fine. Let's get down to someone. See? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. I've tried to stop him, but he couldn't stop. It's okay. Okay. Morning, Bernadine. Is something wrong? Am I imagining things, or did I just see Dr. Kuto go upstairs to the classrooms? Oh, yeah. Good old Dr. Kuto. Isn't he something? Yes, he came around while you were away, and I gave him a class. It's on a junk basis. Excuse me, Mr. DVC. You, you what? The man is a walking security bridge to the university community. Okay, tell me I'm dreaming. That this is one bad joke. Nope. I am not going to lie to you about this. And you are not dreaming. But you need to please calm down. I explain. The man locked me up in the washroom. Hey, hey, that was three years back. Wouldn't you let it go? Let it go? I can't believe I'm hearing this from you. With all due respect, Bona DVC. 
Dr. Kuto will never teach in Emilio University as long as I'm the dean of business faculty. I spent half of the night in hey, the washroom. Hey, he hit my behind in front of students. Can it get worse than that? Even so, I am not going to throw a brilliant scholar into the dean. He needs help. Let's talk about this. That is why for you to even begin to appreciate this, you must be conversant with CAPEM theory. The concept of risk-free investments are the general market returns. The return from an investment, J, in a portfolio is given by RF plus beta into brackets, RM minus RF, where RJ represents return on an investment, J, in a given portfolio. RF represents the return from risk-free investments such as government TB, RM is the return generally accepted to be the market return and beta is the measure of risk associated with a portfolio. In your finance, you must have come across the concept of the efficient frontier. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Kuto. Always Dr. Kuto. What's your question? Oh, okay, I apologize. Excuse me, Dr. Kuto. If I may ask, what is government TV? Well, I believe the problem here is with the TV. That would be treasury bills. Does that help? I guess. I perfectly understand why you feel so strongly about Dr. Kuto. But please remember the circumstances under which we let him go. We let him go on medical grounds. He was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. Schizoaffective disorder, my foot. The man belongs to a mental asylum. But he has since sought help. And I think he's quite okay. We need that man, Bernardine. Quirky as he may seem, he's an asset worth having. Do you know he has? Study invitations from Yale and Harvard University. Yet this is the only university he has chosen to teach in? Yes, of course. This is the only university he wants to teach in. Where else would he rather teach? Where in this world can he run amok, kick people's butt and get away with All it? All right, Bonadine. I think you are more than expressed where you stand on this. But please let's allow Dr. Kuto to teach this semester while we observe him pending his application to join us on a full-time basis. Do you know he's the one who started the business programs in this university? Your faculty exists because of that lunatic you feel so strongly about. Hey, dude. You okay? <coughs> Where are your books? John, where are my books? I don't have your books. You have hey. my books. I don't have your books. Where are they? Where are your books? Uh, what? Dr. Uh, Kuto, I think his bag is on your table. Okay. Why can't you just say so? Okay, I believe that is a brief introduction of what we'll be covering in this unit. I don't want to overwhelm you on the first day. Too late for that. I'm drawing. Shh, shut up. Oh. Now, just one or two more of Dr. Kuto's ground rules. Number one, late assignments I will not take. I give an assignment in one week, the next, I will expect that assignment on my desk. If yours is not on my desk, when I come in, don't you bother bringing in, you get an automatic zero. 
second, unless you are a doctor and there is evidence that you are on call, your phone must never ring in my class. Never. Any question on this or what we've just covered? Excuse me, sir. Dr. Kuto. Yes, your highness. Do you have a parking space, Dr. Kuto? Well, not that I've got the foggiest idea what that has to do with what we've covered, but yes, I do. Why? Do you need it? Not much. Hey, what are you driving at? Could you get to the question? I don't have all day here. You want my parking space or what? Yes, yes, Dr. Kuto. Can I use it, please? Sure. Yes. Thank you, sir. Is it marked? How will I identify it? It's not marked. But it is the only parking right outside my house in Gong. You can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> I know why you called up Paris Hilton. What? I know why you called up Paris Hilton. Can I tell you? Oh, oh, mm. that was quick. I tell you. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, just give me two hours to guess. And tell you, no? Okay, deal. <laughs> deal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, and you, your hairness, when you park outside my house in Go, could you please bring me my lunch? I forgot on the front porch. Oh, you can't miss it. It is in a green paper bag. <laughs> Sure thing. Anything for you, Dr. Kuto. After all, my name is Rehab. Willing. Available. No questions asked. Mm. Mm. My name is Dr. Kuto, and I am going to be your worst nightmare. I have an and PhD, not the ones from the internet. I have a master's in science in rudeness, master's in bad attitude. I am a chartered financial analyst, a certified public secretary, a certified public accountant, and oh, Oh my God, how could I have forgotten this? The most crucial of them all. I am a certified public lunatic. <laughs> oh, that is me, Dr. Kutra. <laughs> Seriously, gave my lecture. <laughs> Oh my God, he's behind me, right? <sighs> hmm. Certified public lunatic. Clever, I like it. Not a word. <laughs> Relax. It's not like he asked you out on a date. Though I guess the answer would have been yes, Doctor Kuto. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, wanna spread the joy? All right, now let's have some fun. The giant is about to have a baby. Now, watch this. Ah, here's that silly, ugly baby again. When and how does it come to my screen every time I sit here? <laughs> Get out of my computer, you silly, ugly monster. Oh my god, did it just make a pout at me? Yeah. I mean, it's like it could hear me or something. <laughs> you, you mean you still hack into people's chats? I swear the day you'll hack into mine, I'll kill you. Hey, hack is a very strong word. I mean, what idiot chats on open Wi-Fi in this day and age? <laughs> I think I just cracked it. My intel tells me that this is the work of Rahab's technical shadow. Samantha, here comes trouble. I've been having a problem every time I sit on those benches. Oh yeah? And the what problem is that? <laughs> Someone's been hacking into my computer and putting a silly ugly baby in it. And my intel tells me that this is the work of one of you two pretty little faces. I know it's you. You're the only computer geek in this school. So any last prayers before I turn your pretty little face into that ugly monster? Any final prayers? Hey, you should be praying, not giggling, don't you think? Or should I pray? Try this. Oh, may this mountain be moved away from me and cast into the sea. <laughs> really, Rahab? Really? Oh, Dr. Kuto. Um, excuse me, Dr. Kuto. Yes. Um, um, sir, I wanted to apologize for my behavior earlier in class. Who are you? You don't remember me. I am Rehab, the class rep for financial mathematics. Mm. I wanted to apologize for what I said. I mean, wrote on the board. I really don't want us to start on the wrong foot. Well, I... Dr. Kuto. Dr. Kuto. Hey, what do you want from me? A truth, sir. I'm extremely sorry. Okay, okay. I don't shake hands with people I just met, especially students. Not that I want to offend you, but I'm sure you watch TV. It's too many jams. Ooh. Um, sir, I totally understand, but are we good? We are. But it is Dr. Kuto. Always Dr. Kuto. Got that? Absolutely. <laughs> Did you see that? See what? Dr. Kuto hung. Oh, yeah. What was with that? I don't believe this. I can't believe this. I knew there was something about him. He was too good to be true. Okay. One ridiculous encounter at a time. Done with Dr. Kuto. What's biting you? Dr. Kuto is an alien. I mean, for real, from another planet. <laughs> oh, yeah? And it takes one alien to notice another. By the way, are you two from the same planet? <laughs> You're leaving me here standing. Rehab, let me explain it hey, to you. Dr. Kuto? Yes. Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, yeah. There's someone I would like you to meet. I believe you haven't met our new VC. She joined us last year, or you are on leave? Yeah. Is she one of those who sounds like Mashek? Don't worry, Dr. Kuto. I'm not much of a handshaker either. So you're the legendary Dr. Kuto I've heard about. Nice to meet you, Dr. Kuto. Well, they say many things about me. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they said you kicked the behind of the DVC and locked the dean of students in the bathroom. <laughs> that is one thing I would have loved to do, Dr. Kuto. <laughs> yeah, I'm the man. I can't do that anymore, though. <laughs> Human rights and stuff. Yeah, with the new constitution. <laughs> it has fixed you people. <laughs> you laugh so loud. What's your secret? <clears throat> the secret is a clean heart, Dr. Kuto. Well, personally, I find that laughter distracts creative thoughts. 
will have to be meeting her every time I come for class. Five matrix, so you can't multiply unless you get a transpose of the root matrix. Yeah, that that will do. That will work. Okay, boy, Doctor Kuto, boy. Mannequin. Realistic. It misplaced though. Hey, what do you want? Hug. Excuse me, do I know you? No. Doctor Kut. What? You really have nice hair. Can I, can I just have one? Just when I think I've got reality and fiction all figured out